This video will help you learn how to take skin fold measurements for both men and women. Anthropometric measurements such as the 7 site skin fold measurement do not provide highly precise estimates, but they do help in health and risk stratification. In order to reduce the inaccuracy of these measurements, it is always important that the technician be properly trained. If the client is too obese or too lean, or if the caliper is not properly calibrated, this can cause error to the measurements. Because of this, a standard error of plus or minus 3.5% is given. All measurements should be taken on the right side of the client's body. The seven site skin folds include the following. Abdomen, triceps, chest, mid-axillary, subscapular, superiliac, and thigh. I will now show you how to correctly measure each site individually. We will begin with the vertical folds, the first one being abdominal. This measurement should be taken 2 centimeters to the right of the umbilicus. It is important to note that you should wait no longer than 1 to 2 seconds before reading the caliper. The second vertical fold are the triceps. This should be taken on the posterior midline of the upper arm, halfway between the acromion and the olecranon process. The third vertical fold is the midaxillary region. This measurement should be taken between the xiphoid process and the sternum. The final vertical fold is the thigh. This measurement should be taken midway between the proximal border of the patella and the inguinal crease or the hip. Moving on to our diagonal folds, the first one is the chest. Now this does vary for men and women. For women, this measurement should be taken one-third the distance between the anterior axillary line and the nipple. The measurement for the men should be one-half the distance from the anterior line and the nipple. The second diagonal fold is the subscapular. This should be taken 1 to 2 centimeters below the inferior angle of the scapula. If you have trouble locating the spot, you can have your client reach their arm back till you find it, but then make sure they bring it back down before you take the measurement. The final fold is a superiliac. This measurement should be taken in line with the natural angle of the iliac crest. Always make sure to take duplicate measurements, confirming that the new measurements come within 1 to 2 millimeters as the previous ones. The following two equations, one for men and one for women, can be used to find your client's body density by using the sum of the seven skin folds. Once you have found your client's body density using the previous equation for either men or women, you can now use either of these two equations to help find your client's percent body fat. All the information that I used for this video was found from the ACSM's Guidelines for Exercise Testing and Prescription.